Did you know there are ingredients that will change color based on what they are cooked with? Because they can indicate the pH of ingredients around them, we call them pH indicators. In case you didn't know, I used to be a science teacher. So while we have this red cabbage here, we're gonna do a little bit of food science fun. The pH scale is a measurement of how acidic or basic alkaline a solution is. The scale goes from zero to 14 and kind of confusingly, true neutral, like water, is right in the middle at a seven. Everything that is below seven is acidic. Everything that is above seven is basic or alkaline. Acids are things that taste sour to our tongue. Things like lemon juice, vinegar, and even milk are on the acidic side of the spectrum, which means that they are high in hydrogen ions. And on the other side of the spectrum, we have alkaline items, which are also important for cooking. Alkaline things taste bitter on our tongue. Baking soda is one of the most commonly used alkaline items. Red cabbage contains compounds called anthocyanins. They are pigments that will change color based on the pH around them. If you soak red cabbage leaves in water, those anthocyanin pigments will soak out and leave you with a purple stained water. That purple water is now a pH indicator. It will change color based on what it's exposed to. When you expose it to acids like lemon juice, vinegar, or milk, it will turn pinkish red. And when you expose it to alkaline solutions like baking soda or bleach, it will turn bluish green. There are many natural pH indicators in the food world, from red cabbage to butterfly pea flour, which I like to buy a gin of that changes color, and turmeric. Next time you buy red cabbage to cook, if you want to do this experiment for yourself, go ahead and remove the outer leaves before cooking, soak them in some water, and you'll have your own pH indicator. And until next time, I'm Kara, and I can cook. <laughs>